In this video, I will share how to make this magnifying glass effect using Create Studio Pro. This is Randy with another Create Studio Pro tutorial. The first step is to select the objects you want to apply the magnifying effect to and set their size. I chose these wooden planks from Pixabay along with this map also on Pixabay. I will reduce the size of the map to 30% to really sell the magnifying effect. Group the planks and the map by selecting both tracks, right mouse click, and select Group. Now make a duplicate of this group. I will rename the bottom track to Map on Table. Next step is to add a circle shape. This will eventually be the magnifying glass lens. Size and position the circle at the start of the red dashed line just below Central America. Tip. To better position the circle, reduce the opacity so that you can see what this circle covers. On the right hand side, use the opacity slider to decrease opacity. Extend the circle clip to match the length of the planks and the map. Now it is time to animate the position of the circle to follow the red dash line. And I want to start the animation shortly after one second, so I will move the playhead there. With the circle track selected, click on Add Animation and select Position. Move the playhead to the second diamond by clicking on it. Position the blue circle so that the red dashed line below South America is in the center. Advance the playhead two frames by double clicking this icon and add another position animation. Jump to the last diamond by clicking on it and move the circle to the dashed line west of Africa. Advance the playhead two frames and add another position animation. Now the distance the circle moves this time is shorter than the previous distances, so I want the animation to take less time. Tip: To adjust the timing of the animation, move the end diamond closer to the start diamond. Now position the circle to where the dash line bends to the right. Continue by advancing playhead two frames and adding position animations at each direction change. I will speed up the tutorial here until I reach where X marks the treasure. Okay, the next step is to add the magnifying glass body. Move the playhead to time zero and in the icons folder select a magnifying glass. Drag it onto the canvas and resize the position so the blue circle is in the lens. Extend the clip's length to match the other tracks. Now we need to repeat the animations on the magnifying glass image. So click the first diamond in the circle track to position the playhead to the correct time. Select the magnifying glass track and add a position animation. Click on the next diamond and reposition the magnifying glass. I will speed up the tutorial until the last animation is added. Remember, use the diamonds in the circle track as a guide where to add animations to the image track. And move the magnifying glass image to each position the blue circle occurs. OK, I will scrub through the timeline and it appears the circle and magnifying glass are in sync. Now it is time to perform the masking operation. Select the circle track and restore opacity to 100%. Select the map and the circle tracks and right mouse click. Select the mask operation. 
Now, as I scrub the timeline, I see a problem. The image in the magnifying glass stays constant. It does not change as it travels over the map. So let's fix that by detaching the mask. Now, as I scrub through the video, you see the lens view matches the map. At this point, I will duplicate the magnifying glass image and rename it to Timing. I will use this track as a guide for future animations. I also don't want this image to be seen, so I will set the opacity to zero. The next step is to group the magnifying glass and the blue circle. And when it is grouped, you will see the animation diamonds no longer appear, which is why I created that timing track. It is now time to magnify the object, and that is done by selecting the group and in the top right click on Properties and increase the scale. For my video, I will set it to 175%. Now you see that the map content is larger, creating the magnifying effect. However, the scaling also changed the position of the magnifying glass and we will need to readjust those positions. To keep things straight, I will rename this track to be Magnify. The next activity is to use the diamonds on the timing track to set the positions of the large magnifying glass. I have used this magnifying effect several times, and I have learned it is best to lock all other tracks so I don't mistakenly move them when I intended to move the magnifying glass. With the playhead on the first diamond of the timing track, select the magnify track and add a position animation. Position the magnifying glass to the section of the map that is also shown in the lens of the magnifying glass. Tip. Once again, it will help if we can see what is underneath the magnifying glass, so reduce the opacity with the same method we used earlier. Also like earlier, advance the playhead two frames and add additional position animations. Once again, I will speed up the tutorial until the last position is complete. Okay, after adding all the animations, we need to restore the opacity. Click on the Properties and set Opacity to 100%. Let's play it through to see how it looks. Perfect. All right, there you go. That is how to create the magnifying glass effect using Create Studio Pro. Good day, everyone, and happy creating.